Grand Rivers is a small town of 350 people in western Kentucky. But there is a restaurant in that small town that serves over 350,000 people annually. Folks come from all over the world to taste their famous two-inch pork chops and their fabulous desserts. We're going to drop in on Patty's 1880 settlement where they're going to flip the switch for their Christmas celebration. The food's always good, and they're so friendly, the service is wonderful, and I love the desserts. I, the boat sinker is my favorite. Uh, in 1977, my mother talked my brother into moving out from California, and they opened up Hamburger Patty's Ice Cream Parlor. And they served hamburgers and ice cream cones in, inside what is now Patty's, but at that time it was called Hamburger Patty's. Well, it started with my mom being the uh, cook in the mornings, and my brother would be the server. And then they s would swap, and my, my brother would start being the evening cook, and my mom would be the waitress. And, it's, and it grew from just serving ice cream to the local churches and stuff in 77. Uh, it expanded a little bit. I moved back here from California in 1982, and I started out as a charbroil cook a lot of pork chops in my day. But over the years, Patty's just always had the notoriety. It had the fame, and it had the two-inch pork chop and the flower pot bread and strawberry butter, and eventually Mr. Bill's evolved into another dining room of Patty's. So today we have Patty's 1880s restaurant and Mr. Bill's restaurant serving the same food, same, same everything. It's just on two different sides of one street corner. We were losing customers because there was too long a wait, so we started adding log cabins, which, are, which is a gift shop division. And as we added those, then we changed it from 1880s restaurant to 1880s settlement. And today we have a minute, beautiful miniature golf course. We have animals, we have peacocks, we have emus, uh, llamas. Basically, we found that the, the we started adding stuff for people to do because they come for the food and we were losing them because of the weight so this allows them to wait out here and browse and, and shop while they're waiting to get into the tent to be seated to, to have some of our wonderful food. And it comes on the second Friday night of November each year is our lighting ceremony and we start decorating the outside and basically the inside of the restaurants too. Uh, the day after Labor Day. Um, we start first week of September and we, and we decorate all the way up until today. We're still fine tuning stuff. So it takes two months to, to put up 700,000 lights or whatever. And uh, the inside, my wife and her crew do a fabulous job. Each, each dining room inside Patty's and Mr. Bill's has got a different theme. So they have to bring in all their stuff and in two days time period they take all the, the fall and spring greenery down and put it up with Christmas lights and Christmas displays and it's just beautiful. I mean nobody else, we, we aren't here to make a ton of money. We get a lot of enjoyment in the people coming to us and enjoying their experience. We don't charge anything for them to come visit our lights. Patty's last year when the lights were on and we liked it so much we decided to come back and spend the night. <laughs> Where are you from? Salem, Illinois. This one's my wife. This is my wife. But these are my children. We used to be like way down here. <laughs> this is Ariel and Adam and Anna. <laughs> That's our thing to thank. Thank you. You know, it's just uh, it's just for the love of Christmas and the love of giving. Our son Adam, he help, loves to work on the ground, so he's decorating for Christmas or in the springtime he's out planting, doing, working on the flower beds. So all of our children are very involved. 
Uh, I personally am responsible for the purchasing and the gift shops as well as being inside and pretty much we do whatever is necessary. The girls will spend time in the restaurant occasionally working in the on the patio which is our outdoor dining area or inside hostessing so it's very much about family and we hope that someday our children will be the next stage of, of evolution for this company. We're very fortunate to have a dedicated staff. Um, we have many, many people that have been with us for um, over 20 years. Uh, they are committed to patties. Well, I came in 1994. I think I'm almost at 20 years. What keeps me here is the people that we work with. We are a family. Uh, the Tuller family treats us just like we are family. We're originally from San Diego, California, and uh, we moved to uh, Marion, Illinois. We heard about patties. And, and uh, the lights, so, <laughs> you know, the light so. festival, so that's why we came here. Uh, most of the people come in about a 100 mile to 125 mile radius. They'll come from southern Illinois, Missouri, northern Tennessee. Uh, we get them from Evansville. Uh, west towards oh Hopkinsville, <laughs> Nashville, some from Nashville, a lot from Clarksville. Uh, you get that base, but then you get people from St. Louis, um, you get them from Louisville, Bardstown. I mean, they'll drive all over to come and visit us and have a, have a wonderful meal. Uh, my mom's philosophy was always treat customers like they're guests coming into your home, and that's what we try to do. And hey, what brought you all the way to, to Patty's? Uh, we celebrating an anniversary. And you came all the way here? We love coming here. Why is that? Place is great. Food, service, everything. The outside, the ambiance, it's really neat.